Bonjour à tous. Hello, everyone. Aujourd'hui, on va parler au sujet d'avoir. So today we are going to talk about avoir. And avoir is a verb. So if you're not familiar with what a verb is, um, a verb is just an action. So a verb is an action that happens, like running or swimming or things like that. And so this is the first verb that you're learning with me in French. So I want to make sure that we get it right and we start from pretty much the beginning. So whenever I teach you verbs, it is always taught just like this. I put the, the verb in French right up here, and then we'll fill in what it means right here. And then you also get this little table. And so you should remember this table from when we did subject pronouns. I told you I'll always teach you subject pronouns or verbs in this table in a specific order. So that way when we learn new verbs, we can just write those verbs in the specific order and they go with the subject pronouns. So a little bit of background info before we get started. Just like in English, French has um, different forms of a verb for each subject. So like in English, if we say I'm running, so we say, you could say I'm running, you're running, he's running, she's running, et cetera, et cetera. They're all different or they might be the same, but some of them are different. For example, the verb to be in English, you say I am, you are, he or she is. So everything is different for those sets of verbs. And just like that in English, it happens in French, except in French, almost every verb has a different form for each subject. So that's important to know. There's six different types of subject pronouns. And so there's six different types of verbs. Before we get started, I'm going to go through and fill in my subject pronouns again, both in French and in English. So that way we have them going forward and we don't have any confusion. So in this first box up here, we have je. And so je in English is I. Then we have tu, which is you or you informal. And so that means you or you informal. Next, down in this bottom box, we have il, which means he, elle, which means she, and then on, which means we or one. Up in this top right box over here, we have new, and so new means we. Then we have vu. And vu means you formal or y'all if you're talking to more than one. And then our last box in the bottom right, we have eel with an S, which means they for boys or boys and girls. And I'm going to abbreviate that. And then we have L, which means they for a group of girls only. So if you didn't remember your subject pronouns, there's a little quick review. So now let's start talking about our verb. So our verb avoir up here. So avoir, avoir means to have. So in English, it means to have. And as we go through, I'm going to try to write out how you say these verbs. So that way, when we start doing like speaking activities where you have to say things, you kind of have a cheat sheet on how to say things. So avoir is pronounced like ah, so ah with an A. And then voir, B-W-A-R, so avoir. All right, so first subject that we're going to talk about is je. I'm going to write these in a different color so that way you can see them a little bit better. And so with je, the first one that we're going to say, these ones always go together. They always go together. You don't ever mix them up with a different subject and a different form of the verb. So to say I have, we say je. So A-I. And so that's pronounced like A, like the letter A. So A. In French, when you have two vowels next to each other, like we have a vowel here and we have a vowel here, we get rid of the E in je and it becomes an apostrophe. 
So it becomes J. So like J, if that makes a little bit of sense to help you pronounce, J. So this means I have. Next verb that we have or the next form that we have is to, and we're going to say ah, A-S, ah, to ah, to ah. And so to ah means you have. Next is il, l, and o. And the reason that these are all in the same box is because they all have the same form. So il, l, and o get ah. So these two are pronounced the same. So this is ah as well. So ah. So il, l, and o all get the same one. And it means he has, she has, and we or one have. Okay, so far so good. You can kind of see how everything's matching up. Up next, we have new. And for new, we're going to write down avant. Avant. And so avant is like ah and then vont. V-O-H-N, vont. I'll write that a little bit bigger so you can see it. Avon. All right. And that means that we have. Next is vu. So you are y'all. And that one is ave. So that's a z. I won't cross my v or my z to make it a little bit easier. So ave. And ave means have. So we have you or y'all have. This is Ah, uh, and then they. All right. And last one on here is eel and l plural. And so eel and l plural, the they's, they get old. Old. And so this means have. So they have, et cetera, et cetera. And so this is like old. Oh. All right. So, so far we have J, tu a, il a, l a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. And so, whenever we have an S with an A, it's going to make this link called a liaison. And it's going to make this Z sound. So I'm sure you heard me say it with nous avons and vous avez. All right. So all three of these on this side are going to have that little Z sound, that link. Um, really quickly, going to pause here for just a second. So that way um, we can kind of go over this. And then we're going to do a lot of examples together but I need to erase my whiteboard here. So I'm gonna just pause this so I can erase it. And we're gonna come back together. All right, so I've got my board erased and I have a fresh slate and up in the top right here, I wrote out all of those conjugations that we just went over. And so I wanna talk about a couple different things that you'll probably see come up very soon. So this right here is called a verb and this is a verb one is just in french and one is just in english whenever in english you see something that says to and then it has a verb that means it's an infinitive so an infinitive just means that it's a verb that has not changed think of like infant like when something is small it might help you remember that an infinitive is just a non-changed verb, right? So an infinitive is just a non-changed verb. So this is an infinitive and this is an infinitive. All right, so let's go through and let's do some conjugations together. Let's do some examples. 
So numéro un, we're going to say, I have a dog. We should have learned dog from Duolingo. So I have a dog. This is our verb. If you don't know in English, most of the sentences are set up with your subject, then your verb, and then your object of the sentence. So it's the same thing in French. So let's put our subject in French, which is je. And now we need our form of have. So I'm going to go up to my handy dandy chart over here and I'm going to find je and then I'm going to put my form of the verb down. So we need a. So j. So a. Now we need a in French, which is those definite or those indefinite articles, which we learned earlier this week. So indefinite for A is un, and then dog is chien. So now I have two vowels next to each other. I need to get rid of the vowel on je, and it's just going to become an apostrophe. So j'ai un chien. All right, up next is numéro deux. So Example two, example de. Let's say you all have, so y'all, I have more than one, y'all have a teacher. So y'all have a teacher. So y'all in French is vous, because I'm talking to more than one person. Now we need our form of the verb. So we've got our subject. Find the form of the verb up here. So find your subject and then write down that form. So I've got vous and then ave. So ave. I might need a new marker since this one doesn't want to work. So ave. So vous ave. And now we need a teacher. So we know that teacher in French is professor or prof for short. So now we need to figure out what teacher is. First thing is, is masculine or feminine? If it doesn't end in an E, it's probably masculine. And if it doesn't end in an S or an X, then it's singular. So we need un. So we have vous avez un professeur. All right, let's do another together. Let's do they, and I'm talking about boys only. So they have a cat. So they have a cat. My they boys only is going to be eel, my subject pronoun eel right here. So I'm going to write that down. So that's eel. Now I need to find my form of the verb. So find your form of the verb. Match your subject right here to your form of the verb up here. So ils ont. And now we need the a cat. So cat in Duolingo, you should have learned, is sha. And so apply the rule. Does it end in an E? No. So it's probably masculine. Does it end in an S or an X? No. So it's singular. So we need un chat. So ils ont un chat. And that's your verb right there. All right. So a couple reminders. So I'll write my reminders over here. A verb is an action. Like you're able to do that. Like I can have something, but I can't French something. So French isn't a verb. So reminders, verb is an action. And infinitive means it's not changed. You can't have two vowels next to each other. Can't have two vowels together. So je changes to j apostrophe, j apostrophe. 
And then one last one that's new, um, you have to have a different form for each subject. It's not really new, but there's a different form for each subject. All right, different form for each subject. So give this video a watch a couple different times, and then I'll post a bunch of other things in Google Classroom as well. But just a little helpful review or learning of avoir with some examples. If you have questions, si vous avez des questions, if you have questions, envoyez, send moi, me, an email, an email. Okay, c'est tu et à plus.